Gather around, light warriors. I'll tell you a story. No fireplace to gather around, but we'll make the most of it. How's everyone doing? It's good to see you all. Merry Christmas to everyone. And it's time, maybe, for a Christmas miracle. And when we reflect on how Christmas was in the past and what it is today, we can see that there's been so many changes and changes in family. And that's what this miracle is going to be about. It's going to be about restoring the family. Nice to see all of you. So today, I'm going to share a little bit about my journey and how I became the defender of everyday life and how I saw the dismantling of family life and how we are going to restore the family. And it's a good time to reflect on this during Christmas because Christmas time, that's when happiness was to the front, right? Many of you could reflect back on how Christmas was when you were younger and it's not quite the same anymore. And we're seeing that front and center. So we're going to learn a lot about that. Tina, I got it right here. <laughs> got to have the holiday coffee, right? <laughs> so a lot of change can occur. But as I told all of you, free will is the law of the universe. So... The change, yes, witness, <laughs> the change has to come from everyday life people. And I'm going to share a little bit about my journey and how this all will be able to play out. I see a lot of people need coffee. <laughs> we all need some coffee in the morning, right? <laughs> it's our first live in the morning. But it's a good time to reflect, and it's a good time to see where we were, where the family used to be, and where the family is now, and how the Matrix destroyed the family. And it's going to take people, everyday life people, to collapse the Matrix and restore family life. And I hope my journey and my reflections on it will help all of you rise up and together we'll all restore the family. That's, that's much needed for, for all people. So let's take a little trip, take a story, future proves past, and we'll see how this is all coming together. Miracle, an event not explicable by natural or scientific laws. I guess it's time for the miracle of our everyday lives. Hello everyone, I am Michael and I help guide people on the evolutionary journey. Miracle is an event not explicable by natural or scientific laws. On our journey, we are given subconscious programs and we feel that we must abide by these subconscious programs that were given to us. But it will take an event, a moment that will break the subconscious program and put you on a different path. So I can reflect 
on my journey and how I shifted. When I was a boy, I always knew that I was built for so much more. I had the inner drive that I was born a superhero. But being part of the matrix and how the matrix keeps you in that box of limiting beliefs and filled with anxiety. I know many of you deal with that, as did I. But there came a moment where everything shifted. So when I was younger, I always knew that there was more and I always knew that there was something wrong with the world. And this might resonate with many of you. And I became health conscious and I took care of the physical body. And as I did so, it kind of expanded my mind, decalcified the pineal gland. And then it came to a time where even all of that was not enough because the matrix in the last 10 years has been amping up. And that's why the warriors of the rainbow have been awakening all around the world. And I can reflect on a moment when I was laying in bed and I had YouTube on my phone. And because of the person I was, I came across the secrets of vibration and frequency, Nikola Tesla. And I watched that documentary and I learned, and I didn't just learn, I applied things to my everyday life. And I also applied the 528 Hertz frequency, which is known as the miracle tone, which resonates in DNA. And from that moment and having the firsthand experience of seeing my energy levels rise, I was always very healthy and fit. But after I started expanding my consciousness and learning these things that I never knew before, I saw my energy level rise. I saw the anxiety decline. And I was able to become more of the person that I came here to be. So I began to unlearn and relearn. I started going down the rabbit hole. And I started learning all the truths that were out there. And I continued to improve my health. And I kept raising my vibration, which is not some spiritual term, because we all emit a vibrational frequency from our core. And since this electric universe is magnetic, we will attract those that are on the same vibrational frequency as us and repel those that are lower, that do not resonate with us. My journey became a little bit lonely in isolation. This is the recalibration that I've spoke about, vibrational synchronization. And many of you are experiencing this on your journey where you're losing more and more people that do not resonate with you. And now you find yourself more in isolation. And being in isolation was important for my journey because it gave me time to do the research and expand my consciousness so that I could become what I am today. I sat back and now with everything I've learned, I looked at the world and I realized that there is within the fabric of the matrix, a design, a design to destroy the family. And we could see this front and center on Christmas. Got the Christmas mug. I can reflect on how the Christmas was so much fun years ago. I would look forward to Christmas. 
And there was so much love and happiness. I had my parents, my grandparents, my sister. And when you're younger, you get toys and all that stuff. It's good. And then you would think like, you know, as you start to get older, what is it going to be like when you find your love? And then you start to build on the family and make the family grow and have more love and more love and more people. But what many of us are realizing is that there's less and less people and there's more and more isolation. This is done by design and this is done by the matrix. I can see things that many people cannot see. And I've seen these things face to face on my journey. And there are many layers to this. When it comes this time of year, we want to be surrounded by lots of family and lots of love. But many of us on our journey might be alone or seeing our family dwindle down. This is done by design of the matrix. So I could reflect on our grandparents, the more aged group of our family. And I can reflect on my grandparents when they were alive and all the love that they showed for me and my parents and my sister. But we're watching our grandparents in that generation be taken out. And this is done by maybe pharmaceuticals that don't serve their greatest purpose. And they're making them leave this realm prematurely. So now we have less. We look at the fabric of couples. We look at the fabric of what the matrix has become. And it's gotten to the point where everything is work, 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 and both man and woman or either couple, part of the couple, have to work and they have to work extremely and they don't have enough time for the family. This is done by design. I can reflect back on a conversation that I had with my coworker and friend, Kathleen. You better be watching. <laughs> and... You know, I said, remember how like when we were younger, only one of our parents had to work. And now like both parents have to work and it's barely not enough to get by. How did that happen? And she said, yeah. And, and she had multiple siblings. And she said that one parent was able to support everyone. And now that's no longer possible. Life has been made harder. Where this energy, the currency, right? Because the currency is your energy. It's being siphoned away, making all people have to work harder and waste their human energy. So they're devoting their energy towards the matrix instead of devoting their energy towards the family. So now it's making parents too busy. And it also makes people that want to meet too busy. Oh, I don't have time to meet him or I don't have time to meet her because I'm too busy with the matrix. But somewhere on our journey, on the timeline, it became so that everyone has to work and they have to work all day long and it's not able to just maybe one or the other switch terms, whatever it is. But it's gotten to the point where everyone has to work and they have to feed the matrix instead of feeding the love of their family. Love was destroyed. And this was destroyed by subconscious programs 
So we're seeing every level of the family being destroyed. So now we're getting down to trying to find love. To even get it started. And this is where the subconscious programs come into play. So you might be on your journey and you might be like me, alone. And you try to find love, but what you get in return are sick attacks from narcissistic beings. Because in the subconscious mind, our brothers and sisters were programmed by the matrix. And they have narcissistic ways where they rather self-sabotage the relationship instead of letting it grow with love. They rather attack and push away and ruin it. It's called self-sabotage. This was done by social media as well, creating narcissists that are more concerned with likes and all these other things than actually trying to find love and kindness. Many of you are empaths like me and you try to show love, but you get something else in return. But we have to remember that these are just subconscious programs. And if people can break the subconscious programs, we could restore love for all people. So this is their number one goal is to destroy love. They have now taken out every layer of the family. We're here to restore the family. You see, Dr. Bruce Lipton said that falling in love is the equivalent to taking the red pill. Because a lot of us are on our journey to find love that resonates with us. And we can't find it. So our currency, our human energy, we continue to search. And our attention, the currency of the universe, is placed elsewhere. It's placed on trying to find this love. And what Dr. Bruce Lipton shared is very relevant because they don't want this expansion of human consciousness. So a lot of people, because they desire love, they will constantly search. But many people have been programmed by these narcissistic subconscious programs. And they are put out by social media. People are now more concerned with likes and sharing pictures that are not relevant or helping the people of this world. They're more concerned with themselves. And Tesla spoke about this, where he saw a world where man and woman would more or less combat each other than love each other. And he saw this coming. And that's the world that we are in now. But we're here to burn down the matrix and build the new earth. That's what we're here to do. Sitting alone on my journey was very important because I was able to be the observer. I was the observer my entire life. I could reflect back when I was a child. I could see the changes in the world. I took the time year after year during this time period, right? A lot of us, we might have a little break from our matrix job. But instead of having the break for, from our matrix job, to have love with a man or a woman or have a family, we're alone. So what I did on my journey, I spent this time working on my craft and learning and expanding my consciousness so that I can help all of you burn down this matrix and restore the family. Restoring the family is important. Remember this, especially if you have a loved one this year. You might have a wife, a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, 
or whatever it might be, anyone that you love, doesn't matter. Be grateful for that because many people are alone. So don't be concerned with consumerism. That happens to be big. It has been big, but what I've seen is a lot of people are now throwing that away. I've seen great changes in 2020, the year of clear vision. I'm seeing, even though it doesn't look so great, but I'm seeing the collapse of the matrix. Just be grateful that you have someone, right? All the money in the world, all the possessions are not worth anything when you're alone. You want to have love and, and someone to share things with. And have family and grow the family. So the matrix had its time. But now we are the ones that we've been waiting for. So as the observer and a person that could see the fabric of space and time. I could see within the fabric the problems. And the problems that have been placed here to break the family. Many of you might not have heard or th even thought about some of these concepts that I have shared today. But if this message resonates with you, you could see that there are subconscious programs that have been placed within this matrix reality that we live in to get you to waste your energy Break and separate the family so that everyone is broken and separate and that your human energy can be siphoned away. But it's time to restore the family and it's time to restore our everyday lives. You need to think outside the box. I appreciate that. You need to think outside the box trying to stay focused and remember think back in time and think about the holiday season and how it was and think about the holiday season in the last few years up to now free will is the law of the universe we're all infinite we could all collectively stand up and say no more I've shared this with many of my brothers and sisters that I know on my journey. And they're like, Michael, you're right. So this message needs to be shared with the world. We will no longer have our families destroyed. It's time to resurrect the family. And it's time to bring back happiness and love. If you could do something that nobody else could do, would you do it? It's time to stand back. Many of you have seen this. I will be the voice for the voiceless. It's my honor to do this. Resonate on the 528 hertz frequency, the miracle tone. Everything is about to change. So maybe it's time for the Christmas miracle of our everyday lives. And so it is. All right, Light Warriors, how was that one? I don't have the fireplace to gather around, but I, I hope you enjoyed the, the story of the journey. Melissa DC, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, and God bless you too. God bless everyone here. It's going to take energy. You know, sometimes we, we think of things and, you know, we think it's, it's, it's just uh, spiritual or, you know, it's not scientific, but when you when you pray, right, and you, you bless people, 
You're sending out a vibration into the electric universe. And it does cause change. A lot of you have done that for me on my journey. You believe in me. Look at how much I've changed and, and look at how much our community has changed. The more that we come together. So, you know, maybe I don't have a loved one, right? I don't have a family that I've created. So I was pushed by being uncomfortable to create a family for everyone. And you're all my family. And I appreciate all of you. But sometimes we find motivation in things in different lights. Angel Eyes, I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you as well. You know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people, they, they just want to focus on everything is love and light. But authenticity, there are things in this world that if we just put the blinders on and we don't focus on it, it will never change. Energy is the ability to cause change. So it's time to cause that change. And sometimes you need to plunge your hands into the filth. Sometimes you have to look at the sickness. Sometimes you have to look at the darkness. And by doing so, we're going to restore the family. That's what we're here to do. And many of you, you could also share in the chat. You've seen the family be destroyed. You've seen the family dwindle down. You're seeing people, once they reach a certain age, they might be struggling with their health. That's authentically not supposed to be the way. We're just programmed to believe it. We're, suppo we're programmed to believe that we're supposed to live a certain age. We're programmed to believe that everyone has to work all day long because that's just what the world has become and you have to accept it. And we're programmed to believe that social media and narcissism is real. So when we focus on these things, warriors are built. I'm a warrior just like you. And that's what it's going to take. It's not going to take a little, uh, you know, pixie dust. That's not where the Christmas miracle is going to come from. The Christmas miracle is coming from being authentic and being real and restoring the family. If we have no family, we have nothing. Elmer, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you as well. And, you know, we, we've seen these changes. We've seen these changes since we were younger. And it just, it's not the same. And how many of you does that resonate with? It's, it's just not the same. And because of subconscious programs, we're programmed to just accept that the world is different and that's it. But we actually can go back to the way it used to be. We can restore the family. That's what this is about. I know many people on my journey that are dealing with this. And a lot of the things that I talk about and share, they, they're realizing it. We're all realizing all of these concepts now. It's not about a person. It's within the fabric of the matrix. It's about energy. It's about frequencies. It's about subconscious programs. Maybe you're new to this type of message. You stumbled across this message. I appreciate if you subscribed because it continues to grow this. We might not say the most popular things, but we're going to say the authentic things and the authentic teachings that are going to help you improve your everyday life. That's what we're here to do. So the science behind it is we download subconscious programs from birth till the age of seven. And they become our reality. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's just the cycle. It's passed on. It's passed down the road. And once people inject subconscious programs and it continues to be shared, 
It's going to be downloaded and that's going to become the reality. It's called the matrix reality. It's not real. Some people have never experienced the real reality. Some of us have come in with the spiritual immune system and you knew as a, as a, as a child, you knew something was wrong. Those are the indigo children, right? Maybe you were an indigo child back in the day, sitting in the classroom, looking at life, saying this, this is not right. You know that you're right. And the subconscious programs, the society is wrong, but there's not much you could do about it. And we're seeing more and more indigo children come in. And if you're new to this concept, you might want to look up Dolores Cannon. She was very uh, influential to me on my journey. She, she actually kind of reminds me of my Nana, Dolores Cannon. She was like my Nana. You know, I, I miss my Nana, but um, I know she's with me. And uh, she told me about all the great things that I would do. I just didn't really understand. You know, sometimes you need to uh, decipher the code. But, um, you know, I was grateful that I had many great people, many great mentors that came to me on my journey to help me pre help prepare me for this moment in time. And it ain't easy. It ain't easy being alone. It ain't easy dealing with the nonsense, right? It's a lot easier to just sit at home and hide from everything. But there's a fire, there's a spark that, that, that happens inside of you. And, um, you know, when I was younger, I, I, I was very, uh, you know, uh, I guess introverted to a sense. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to go in front of all the people. But the fire of the warrior, focus on the warrior that's inside of you. And you'll become the person that you came here to be. That's what I did on my journey. I didn't, you know, just say, oh, let me go save the world. Things had to happen. Hardships had to happen. Seeing sickness face to face had to happen. And the constant growth and expanding consciousness and seeing the wrong, the wrongness, the inversion, the inversion right? Seeing the opposite of what's true. Many of you see the opposite of what's true. And as you're a light warrior, you might even uh, come across that on your journey. You might be doing great things and people might talk behind your back, but your light is always going to shine. Remember the law of 80-20. I always share the law of 80-20. If 80% 80 of the people resonate with you and love you, you're doing the right thing, kid. You're doing the right thing at 80-20. There's always going to be a couple of serpents, a couple of narcissists that are going to talk behind your back. And that's okay. We don't give a shift, right? It's their weakness. Your light irritates their demons. We're going to call a spade a spade. It is what it is. And this is our journey. But by constantly chipping away and chipping away at the matrix, we are shifting. We're shifting an entire world right now. And I see this shift. I know it seems dark this year. I know it seems dark, but I'm seeing the shift. I see the shift amongst people that I come across. It's less people. Yes, but you're seeing the shift and people are awakening to the reality. And that it's all about love. It's not about consumerism it's not about narcissism. It's about being real. And it's about restoring the family. I love you too. It's then only, I hope I said it right. Brothers can love each other. It's about an energy. I appreciate that. <coughs> and then the coffee goes down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Yep. And you have to you have to be aware of this. You know, it's it's going it's going to constantly happen. These are the trials and tribulations that you are going to come across 
and I'll laugh it up. That you're going to come across on your journey. And that's why you need to be battle tested. You saw that one, right? You need to be battle tested. Be battle tested and harden yourself. Esther, thank you very much. I appreciate you. It's my honor to be me. <laughs> and that's where I, I think a lot of us, we have to learn. You need to be yourself. A lot of people are afraid to be themselves. I was there years ago. I had the power inside of me. I just had to believe in myself. And that's what the Christmas miracle is all about. It's about all of you remembering who you are. And pushing through, breaking through the matrix, breaking through subconscious programs, breaking through the satanic mocking, because they want you to stay there. That's why it's going to take a tribe of many colors, the warriors of the rainbow, to accomplish this. That's what we're all here to do. We're all different, but we're all the same frequency, dear ones. And I appreciate all of you. And I hope this, you know, we take this time period to reflect on the family. And this is our Christmas wish, our Christmas prayer, whatever you would like to call it. But it's time to restore the family. A lot of people never even had a chance. Some people's families were destroyed. Everyone's situation is different. Some might have a situation of their journey that's similar to mine, it might be different. But we're moving forward and we're collectively burning the matrix to the ground and restoring the family. Ben Turnov, I hope I said it right. I appreciate you. It's my honor. Um, yeah, a balance needs to be restored. There needs to be balance and the balance needs to be within all people. You know, in every aspect of your life, there needs to be balance. Wherever you are, always remember the law of 80-20. Always remember the law of 80-20. It's going to, if you haven't seen it, I made a world famous video on the law of 80-20. It's phenomenal. You should check it out. Uh, but the, these are the truths. These are the truths that we need to accomplish this, to accomplish the Christmas miracle. You think we're going to get a Christmas miracle this year, Light Warriors? If we all focus on the Christmas miracle for all of our families and restoring the family, it will be so. Remember, a lot of things are reaching critical mass. That's what this is all about. If you're on your journey and you're helping to uh, awaken one other person, that's all you need to do. Whatever, whatever your journey calls you, we're all, we're all doing different things and different types of people. There could be different levels and layers to people that are awakening others. We don't all have to be the same. We don't all have to be the same. We could all be different. And we could all be the ones to carry this out. So don't, don't fall for, the, for those soul traps that are, that are getting you to stop your journey. We're going through this now. And we're, we're, almost, we're almost there. But remember, there is no finish line. There is no finish line. We will reach critical mass, but we're going to continue to expand, right? You're going to be on, on this, in this realm for uh, a while. I predict our lifespans are going to increase exponentially. And that will happen with the release of the Tesla technologies. That will happen when they release the med beds for our people. We could heal our bodies with light and sound. And that would be my Christmas prayer. My Christmas wish is that we can... We could give real, real healing to the people and, you know, people don't have to deal with maybe what our older family members had to deal with earlier on. So we're shifting now and we want, we want real 
We want real medicines and we want, we want real technology that is going to help our people. But we need to break the subconscious programs. We need to unlearn and relearn. And that's what this time period is about. But I hope that this will be the time, this will be the time period that we restore the family. Yes, we can heal our bodies by speaking to ourselves. I do that often. You need to speak to yourself. You speak it into existence. The best Christmas gift is being awake. Absolutely. I need to live in authenticity. And I know a lot of you, like me, would rather be alone and be authentic than have to live in the matrix. Right? We want to live in authenticity. And, uh, you know, yes, the, the med beds would be amazing for our people. And, uh, you know, we, 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 don't, we could always reflect back. And, you know, a lot of you have, have been on the journey with my work. I like to say that. I don't like to say the, uh, the matrix terms. But you've been on the journey with my work and uh, the influence of Nikola Tesla. And he, he understood a lot of things and, you know, we could always ask the question, why isn't Tesla in the, in the science books? And why was he ridiculed and mocked when he tried to do great things? So when people, that's why on your journey, you might come across people that might uh, mock and shame you and speak things about you that are not true. And uh, you could reflect on. Dr. Joe Dispenza, and, and he said, like, you know, if you're an awakened person and, and someone said, oh, you're stupid, like, he would just laugh because it's not true. So it's like, who, who gives a shift, right? So, and Dr. Joe Dispenza talked about that. You see, um, I'm here to combine everything. I combine science and spirituality, mental health, emotions, right? If we put it all together, sometimes we're, we're only in one of the of the boxes. That's why we're creating something new here. I came here to be a pioneer and I'm pulling everything and I'm, I'm putting it all together. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Right. Um, yeah. And, and we should be grateful for those that came before us because they're going to leave you like if I take Tesla and Dolores Cannon and then I put it together and I'm the one to create something new out of it. But I would not be able to do that if they did not leave the breadcrumbs for me. And that's how human consciousness is shifting exponentially. So I could take Tesla, I could take Canon, and I could put them together and create something new. I've actually um, I made a couple of uh, very powerful uh, videos that really put together things that no one maybe has ever thought of before and uh, have a couple videos, but maybe uh, we're going to let them out this weekend. It's going to be fantastic. Energy flows where the attention goes, right? Your attention is the currency of the universe. So where you pay attention, that's where the energy is going to go. So we always want to pay attention to positive things in our everyday lives. But it is also important to focus like a laser beam on the filth. Because some people might find motivation. Think about a child. Think about a child that can't defend themselves, right? They're just, they're just there to download subconscious programs. And maybe you could do something to help those kids. What are you going to do about it? So sometimes we, we always want to focus our attention, right? Ignore, ignore the narcissists, light warriors. We're going to do another full video on that. If you want to learn the difference between narcissist and the power of I am, it's totally different. But we get some subconscious programs that tell us the opposite. So we want to learn the truth. Go to the channel page, and I've done videos on that as well. Say the truth. And when we have the truth, we're, we're, we're going to be able to improve our life, 
right? You need to improve on yourself. That's not bad. You need to improve on yourself. Work on yourself. And then when you work on yourself, then you can help others. You got to work on yourself first. And then you're able to pick others up. Don't forget it. There's a lot of subconscious programs that they want to say the opposite. Ignore them. Yes, it's important to ignore. Focus on what you want. Right? I wanted this. I wanted this growth. And we got this growth. And I spoke. Uh, everything I practice, what I preach. Right? I spoke a lot of these things into existence. Right? I, I, I told you a long time ago that I was going to make consciousness cool. It's pretty cool, right? Right? Maybe, maybe it wasn't the the greatest video of all time, right? <laughs> but I got it done. It's about focusing on something. Even if you're not so strong at the time, just send out something to the universe, put it out there, who you are, and let the seed, right? The seeds I plant today will not bear fruit today, right? Some of you remember that one. But, you know, and, that, and I talk about neuroplasticity and that's why I'm able to, I could pull from all the things that I talked about and I could put it all together. That's what it's all about. It's about, it's about connecting the dots. The breadcrumbs were left for us. How are we going to put it together? That's my job is to put it together. Take these different aspects, mush it all together and have a Christmas miracle. They can't break the shield, Michelle. Oh, I, I appreciate that organic intelligence. Every video is the greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. It's my birthright to put that out, right? I could be the greatest of all time, and so can you. Let the seeds grow over time. That's what happens. Even, even myself, you know. I, in the beginning, struggled with that. But we always need to have momentum. So once the momentum starts going, and now uh, I believe in myself, I believe in the mission, I believe in my brothers and sisters, and I'm seeing authentically. And you need to look at everything authentically. The highest level of vibrational consciousness. And that's how we're going to cause this change. And... Bring back the family. Everyone's a big fan of the coffee like me. Today I did the coffee for the, uh, the morning live, right? Christmas coffee. The nectar of the gods. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. So um, also, also have water too here because voices. Yeah, you know, Jazz, I, I feel supercharged as well. And, you know, doing this and, and changing, I always got to practice what I preach. And I always said, oh, uh, when am I going to go live? When am I going to go live? I'm nervous to go live. And then one day I just recently, I just did it. And you're all leveling me up. And it's a good experience to step outside the box. Keep building your neuroplasticity right? Do different things, build new neural pathways in your brain. We don't want to repeat the same thing. And by doing this, we're going to cause change. So supercharged with the live. Yes, we're supercharged here because I guess uh, somehow we're connecting all of our energies, but uh, I've had some experiences this past week, we could call them supernatural. Practice what you preach, Noah. That's right. Practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. And, and, that, and that's how I differentiate myself. We're creating something new. And um, it's my honor to share a lot of what I've worked on. You know, a lot of you, you're all, 
you're all the light workers of the world and uh you're all you're you're all putting in so much and i i as the observer i sit back and i look at this and i say to myself who's going to carry the light workers right because this is not something that's so popular and uh a lot of you might feel like you know it's hard because you know people that are programmed to the matrix they might mock or not understand it but being a common everyday life person i was given an incredible gift to walk the line between dimensions and it's my honor to to destroy all these subconscious programs put it on me who's going to carry the light workers you'll see those videos this week but um you know, it's important. I know it's, it, you know, it, a lot of people are feeling the fatigue. You, you feel exhausted. And, and earlier on my journey, that's what I felt. That's why I made uh, videos explaining the 528 hertz frequency, sharing the 528 hertz frequency. And, you know, it's important to, to think differently. <clears throat> I want, want each and every one of you to think multifaceted, right? You don't have to just think of one thing or another, right? You could be expansive. And that's, that's, that's what I do. And, and that's my journey. And I hope that this message today will help restore the family because that's what I want for Christmas. You know, um, we're here. We cannot control what is around us. So, you know, our lives are our lives. But doing this right now, I created a family that the Matrix destroyed. And we're just speaking authentically about it. We could sit back. We could look at what's happened. I've gone over all the things that we could see in the fabric of the Matrix and how it's destroyed the family. Many different ways. So now it's time for the warriors of the rainbow, the 144,000, to bring back the family. And I'll be teaching a lot more about that this week. Yeah, Santa says share the video and smash the like button. Smash it. Break your phone. Don't break the phone. I'm just kidding. No, I appreciate that. You know, it's not the most popular thing. So as I told you, this will be authentic and this will go through the people. So this is just the people that it resonates with sharing it out and getting one more. So I appreciate all of you. You like that, right? <laughs> so uh, keep moving forward and let's restore the family. And we're thinking differently. And if you stumbled across this message... If you find this message interesting and you would like to learn more about our reality in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, why don't you click subscribe, give the video a like so it becomes visible to more people. And please share with one other person because if we all share with one other person, we will rapidly grow our 5D community. And we're getting it done. And I appreciate all of you. And let's restore the family for our Christmas miracle. Remember, we cannot control what is around us. However, we can control from within. Be conscious of the importance of family. And it's time to make a stand and restore our family. Use this to raise your vibration and increase your electromagnetism. Life is so much better when we are all together, my family. If you find this message inspiring or know someone that could benefit from it, please share this message. Dear ones, I am Michael. Find us in the fifth dimension. Have a wonderful day living your everyday life. I appreciate all of you. Michael, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I will keep it up. I'll keep going. Who's going to carry the light workers? I'll keep going. 
and you all motivate me to keep going. And I'm very grateful for all of you. That's why I'm here today. That's why I keep going every single day and keep coming back. We keep going. We're going to restore the family, restore the family, restore the family. That's how this is done. And I hope all of the concepts that I presented today are helpful for you. We're going to unlearn and relearn, and we're going to take back control of our everyday lives. All right, Light Warriors. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, whatever you celebrate. But remember, we're the tribe of many colors. We're a family no matter what. When the earth is ravaged and the animals are dying, a new tribe of people will come onto the earth from many colors, classes, creeds, and whom by their actions and deeds will make the earth green again. They will be known as the warriors of the rainbow. And that's all of you. And me too. I love you all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. 2021. Expansion. That's what this time period and shift is all about. Expansion. Christmas miracle. Bring on the Christmas miracle. Keep focusing on it and we will get the Christmas miracle. Hopefully we'll gather around and say we got the Christmas miracle, right? We can do it. I hope this message was helpful for all of you. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Namaste. I love you all too. Time for the Christmas miracle. See you, light warriors. Thank <laughs> you.